Welcome, my name is Justin Rempel, and we are going to be talking about writing dialogue. So the first thing we need to figure out is what do we mean when we say dialogue? When we're talking about dialogue, we're talking about people or characters talking to each other. Uh, monologue is when just one person is talking. We might uh, call this a speech, when just one character talks for a while. It might be to themselves, it might be to the audience or reader or viewer, it might be just out into the open air. Uh, but we are here today to focus on dialogue, which is a conversation between two or more uh, characters. It's very important when we're writing dialogue that we include the correct punctuation. And the key punctuation is the quotation mark. These are two little dashes in the air. We use them um, at the start and at the end of the dialogue for each spoken line, both ends of the spoken words. So they show us when someone's speech has started and when it has ended. So for example, in the sentence Thomas said, I want to go home, you can see the quotation marks when Thomas starts talking right before the I, and when he stops talking after home. And you can see that the end sentence punctuation, that period comes inside the quotation marks at the end. Uh, paragraph structure is very important when we're writing dialogue. So every time the speaker changes, we start a new paragraph. And the reason we do that is to keep our writing nice and clear. We want to be able to keep track of the speaker. And so we show that the speaker has switched by changing paragraphs. It also helps if you say who's talking, uh, but at the very least, you need to start a new paragraph and a new set of quotation marks. Remember to indent each new paragraph. Uh, so for example, where are we going? Trisha asked. I have no idea, Fatma answered. Let's go left, decided Trisha. Notice that Every time there's someone talking, we have uh, quotation marks at the start of what they're saying and at the end of what they're saying. There's a full sentence inside. It starts with a capital letter and it has end punctuation at the end, uh, just like a sentence would by itself. Um, a dialogue tag is a short phrase that comes attached to the dialogue. And a dialogue tag indicates who is talking and how they are talking. We separate it from the rest of the dialogue by a comma. Uh, for example, I love this book, Rupi gushed. And it, normally we would put a period after book because that's the end of a sentence. But because it's the end of a sentence in dialogue, we actually put a comma at the end of it inside the quotation marks. And then we add the little dialogue tag, which has the name Rupi and a description of how she's talking. She's gushing. Um, sometimes we just use a very boring plain word like said or spoke, uh, but you can really get descriptive and colorful with your language to describe how someone is talking. It really can set the tone for their speech. Eddie commented, I have never read it. So here the dialogue tag comes first which means we've got the dialogue tag and then a comma, and then we open our quotation marks. We have the full sentence, starts with a capital letter, ends with a period, and we've got a quotation mark at the end. Um, we do not need to use those commas to separate dialogue tags if we are using exclamation marks or question marks. So um, we always use a comma to separate the dialogue tag if it comes before the speech, but if it comes after and we've got a question mark or an exclamation mark, we don't need to add a comma as well. So for example, what are you doing? Uh, Julio whispered, none of your business, Tamara hissed. So the first example is a question. It ends with a question mark. There's no comma, just a question mark, uh, quotation marks and the dialogue tag. The second example is an exclamation. Uh, Tamara is hissing, none of your business. So it ends with an exclamation mark, then we end our quotation marks, and then we have the dialogue tag. Again, if the dialogue tag comes first, Julio whispered, what are you doing? We would still include the comma. Uh, you don't have to use dialogue tags. They're really helpful 
to keep track of who the speakers are. So make sure that the readers know it needs to be clear who is talking when. Um, but especially if you're just going back and forth between two people, you don't need to have a dialogue tag every time. Uh, blah, 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 so-and-so said, blah, 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 so-and-so said, blah, 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 so-and-so said. It can get really, really repetitive. Uh, so take this example. Felicia began arguing with her friend Alice. I think we should go to the park. Well, I think we should go to the mall. Fine, let's go to the mall. I, I need to do some shopping anyways. We really don't have dialogue tags in here, but because we've established who's talking, uh, Felicia and Alice, and we've established who starts talking first, Felicia uh, began arguing, we can really keep track. Oh, now it's Felicia. The person who responds, even though there's no dialogue tag, it has to be Alice. They're the only ones in the conversation. Uh, and then Felicia has to be the one responding at the end. So it's still clear uh, who's talking because we still have each uh, new speaker in a new paragraph. And we establish at the start, before we start writing the dialogue, who is talking, what they're talking about, and who's speaking first. So we know what the order is. As soon as you would have more than two speakers, I would not advise leaving out dialogue tags because it's going to get very confusing. Uh, the only time I would say there's an exception is if you want the speech to be really jumbled and confused, like in an argument or a confusing overlapping conversation, but that hardly ever happens. Usually we want our conversations and our dialogues to be nice and clear.